we have gathered here today for the signing of an accord between the Government of India and the National Socialist Council of Nagaland in the presence of the Honorable Prime Minister of India and witnessed by the Honorable Home Minister, the National Security Advisor and the delegation of Naga leaders. To commence this historic occasion, may I now invite Mr. N, Mr. R. N. Ravi to take his place on behalf of the Government of India. May I now invite Mr. T. Muiva, General Secretary of the National Socialist Council of Nagaland to come for the signing ceremony. May I now invite Mr. T. Muiva to deliver his remarks on this historic occasion. I thank God for this momentous occasion on behalf of the Chairman, Mr. Achek Chishisu, and the Naga people kindly allow me to begin by saying that Naga people have great respect for Mahatma Gandhi because he understood and respected the Nagas when the Nagas delegation met him for the first time in 1947. Unfortunately, after the Naga delegation met him, sorry, sorry, after his demise, the Indian state resorted to military might to crush the Nagas. Arms confrontation followed, inflicting heavy losses on both the parties. After a long fighting, Mr. Narasim Harao, the then Prime Minister of India, had the courage to admit 
that it is political issue and should be uh, solved through political negotiation. We appreciated his wisdom and accepted the ceasefire agreement to start political negotiations in 1997. We gave our commitment to him that NSCN shall leave no stone unturned to find a negotiated amicable settlement between the two parties. The Nagas were very happy when the government of India under the leadership of the then Prime Minister of India, Mr. Adar Bihari Vaspay, declared the recognition of the unique history and situation of the Nagas in 2002. We Nagas appreciated the statementship of Mr. Adar Bihari Vaspay, and we gave our commitment that if the government of India would understand the reality of the Nagas, the Nagas would appreciate the reality of India even ten times more, and we never backtrack from our commitment. Today, under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi, we have come close to understand each other and have worked out a new relationship between the two parties on the basis of the uniqueness. We appreciate your wisdom, your leadership, and your vision to build an enduring relationship between the Nagas and Indians. The Nagas will ever remember you for your statementship and your uh, profound understanding of the Nagas with warm heart for them. Beginning from now, the challenges will be created, so also the responsibilities. The obligation to meet the needs of the people shall be paramount for both the parties to make this historic endeavor more meaningful. Let me also assure you that Nakas can still come closer if their rights are respected. On behalf of the Naga people, allow me to assure you once again that the Nagas can be trustworthy and take into your confidence for any policy in the Northeast and beyond the frontiers. God bless you and your leadership. Thank you.